Madam Postmaster, and my Postmaster friends, and our dear guests. I'm so happy to be here today to actually continue the journey of finding joy. I was excited that people did connect to that talk, although it was a little sad. I had a hard time getting through it. But today, I have, although it might seem like it's going to start a little sad, it is the path that I found to joy and to stay on that path. It all started one day in 2006, I think in October. I was still carrying around my Austin book everywhere I went, full of some of my favorite pictures of him. And I just out of nowhere, what would happen to me is I would just like start pounding the console between the seats or I might just burst out crying and at this one day, I was on errands and seemingly fine, and I just burst into tears and sobbing, actually, uncontrollably. And at that point, I thought, I better pull off to the side of the road. And as my head just laid heavy on the steering wheel, I said a prayer. And I asked Heavenly Father to help me to regain my composure and go on with my day and find joy in it. <clears throat> no sooner was I getting ready to start the engine of my car, I looked in the rear view, and out of nowhere, seemingly, there was a lady walking up to my car with a big smile on her face. And she said, I couldn't help but notice you have a memorial on the back of your car. And I turned with my tear-stained face and said, yes, that's from my son Austin. He died tragically and unexpectedly. And I just want the world to remember that he existed and that he still matters. And she says, well, I just happen to be affiliated with a nonprofit organization that deals with mourning and grief and, and the loss of children, 18 years and under. And I thought, wow, <laughs> what's going on here? Just randomly this happened. At that point, she told me about a memorial service that was going to be held the next week. And this was an annual memorial service held for families who had lost children. And I remember earlier that year that there was a mom who lost five of her kids in a house fire. And I thought to myself, and she told me, Kathy was her name, that this lady was going to be there. And I was hesitant at first, but I felt well, I'll go to this memorial service and at least pay respect to the so many other people who have lost children. I arrived at the memorial service somewhat early. I thought whether I should go in or not, and it just continued to swirl through my head, and just as I was getting ready to start my car, there comes Kathy with a big smile on her face. And she guided me into the memorial service, and there were hundreds of people in there. And they were like smiling and joyful and I was just clutching my Austin book and I just couldn't help but start crying and I'm sure I cried through the entire service I just wasn't at that point yet how did they find the joy that seemed to be among them and the next thing I know Kathy whispers to me well here comes the part where everybody's going to say their kids names I'm like I'm not going up there and one by one, the people went by, including the mom who had lost her five children, and I just, I mean, I'm like, like, I'm like burying my head, trying not to cry anymore. But I got up the courage, and I went up onto the stage, and a few people later, it was my turn, and I silently said the name, <clears throat> excuse me, Austin K. Hunsaker. I left there destroyed. I thought, how is this supposed to help me? How is this supposed to bring joy into my life by getting up and saying my son's name? Well, that actually became the turning point in my life. A week later, I pulled that little card out that Kathy had given me, and it was uh, from uh, the Miss Foundation, which was the organization that she was affiliated with. And it said on this one tab, the Kindness Project, and I went, Hmm, 
was sad about. I like being kind. And so I got I went on the tab and I read through it and I went, this is something that I think I, I want to be involved in. And they said you could order cards and things to do a random act of kindness and so on. I decided to make my own card and I put Austin's picture on it and I put the Miss Foundation as a reference and Austin's memorial site. And as soon as I had my cards printed, I thought, okay, tomorrow morning I'm going to do my first random act of kindness. My usual stop, every morning, McDonald's. I'm in the drive through line and I'm like shaking because I know I'm going to do this random act of kindness. And I got to the cashier and I said, I want to pay for me and I want to pay for the person behind me. And she just looked at me and said, what? And I said, yes, I'd like to. And then if you wouldn't mind leaving this little card with their receipt. Well, that night I got home and got on Austin's memorial site because I was still putting pictures on it and everything. And there was a comment on there and it read the name just Christine. Someone in your circle did something kind for me, a stranger today, and so your spirit and love engendered lives on. I was so overcome with joy and happiness that I had made someone feel happy that Austin was remembered, and I thought, this was really cool. On Austin's Angel Day in 2009, I was just turning the corner from McCallops Road to Country Club, which is where the Mesa Cemetery is. And I know I was meant to see this person. As I turned the corner, my eyes just kind of glanced over, and I saw this man huddled asleep in the corner, kind of in a little concrete alcove. And I'm driving up to the, up the hill as Country Club goes, and I turned around and saw, thought, I need to go back. And I looked in the back of my car and I had a couple blankets left from a snowboarding trip we had just taken. And I just grabbed one of those blankets and I laid it over this man. I didn't leave a card. I just wanted him to wake up and know that somebody cared. Well, everybody in the family got on board with this. My parents uh, did a mile post in honor of my son, which is still there. And I thought at first, wow, this is really awesome, except for I have to go up three years, three times a year. <laughs> Freeway, because it's right by a truck stop. <laughs> I also put a page on my Facebook, Random Acts of Kindness, Austin K. Hunsaker Random Acts of Kindness Project. And my daughter, Sarah, she recently posted on there, someone was thinking of me and decided to make my day. Walked out to my car this morning to find an envelope stuck in my window with a generous gift inside. So thankful for this random act of kindness my turn to do something for someone else. You all ought to, too. I love my daughter, Sarah. She's so engaging. I'm over time. My other daughter decided to, to help us create the Austin Kate Hunsaker Kindness Project, which will ultimately become a foundation. That's part of why I'm in Toastmasters, to be able to speak. Um, she created this and she did kind of a speech, so to speak, in front of all of the young men and young women in our church and encouraged them, the young people, to be engaged in this, this worthy cause. And this is kind of taken from the, bit, the little business cards that we gave out. This was all on there. So with everybody on board, I feel like the joy came into my life it wasn't about leaving the cards anymore. I would keep cases of water in the back of my car. I went to Walgreens and bought two for 10 blankets, like 20 of them. And I was just looking for people to take a lot of cards out to and blankets. And, but, and I have given out probably close to 50 blankets. I want to uh, share with you one little poem at the end here. I have lost it. It's by Herman Melville. And he says, sorry, 
We cannot live only for ourselves. A thousand fibers connect us with our fellow men. And among those fibers, as sympathetic threads, our actions run as causes, and they come back to us as effects. Your life does not get better better by chance. It gets better by change. I just thought for one moment in closing that if I guess maybe there might be 20 here today. And if every person did one little random act of kindness, a smile to a stranger, a, com a compliment to someone, picking up some garbage out of your neighbor's lawn, if every one of us did that one time every day, there would be close to 7,300 random acts of kindness <coughs> in one year. I would just like to challenge all of you to do that. And I would like to thank Madam um, Toastmaster for this opportunity to share my path to joy. Okay, now we're going to move on to the next portion of our meeting. And I'd like to call up Jeremy Comer, who is our table topics master for the day.